I'm here in Kutupalong Temporary Settlement Camp with UNHCR and as you can see the scale, the scope of the Rohingya crisis is enormous. The Rohingya refugees have experienced targeted violence, human rights abuses and horrific journeys fleeing Myanmar. And now, as monsoon season approaches, the Bangladesh government, UNHCR and its partners are working flat out to avoid an emergency within an emergency. I've already seen so much. As you can see, it, it is as soon as a rain comes, this whole thing and all of the houses that are up here are just going to wash right down. It's incredibly worrying and really there's nowhere else for these people to go. Hello. I knew the scale of the Rohingya crisis was enormous, but it's very difficult standing at the high point in Kutupalong to really explain the vastness of it. I didn't realise just how precarious their situation is and just how vast it is. You know, everything feels here like it's about to collapse and um, I've never seen a greater, more immediate need. When you think about returning to Myanmar, do you imagine a time where that will be possible? I've seen incredible resilience and invention and positivity on behalf of the Rohingya refugees themselves actively trying to change and shore up their environment as temporary as it is. Bangladeshis and local communities have shared their very limited resources with these vulnerable refugees. And the international community, governments, private sector and the public have also shown great generosity too. But more funds are urgently needed. It's vital that we all now show solidarity and support.